Well, the state's highest court will hear arguments on whether inmates should be released from prison early to protect them during this outbreak. Some of them have yet to be convicted of a crime. Others are convicted criminals who have yet to serve the full sentence. As Christina Rex reports, DAs and civil liberty groups see very differently on this matter. And making sure that we don't create uh, really a hot spot. That's the goal of an emergency petition filed by the ACLU and other groups to lessen the number of people in Massachusetts jails and prisons to help stop the spread of coronavirus. People who are in simply because they can't make bail, for example, they shouldn't be suffering a death sentence. Uh, because they're poor. The petition filed to the Supreme Judicial Court would free inmates being held before their case is heard, near the end of their sentence, or considered vulnerable to COVID-19. Uh, it's just not acceptable, not prudent, and shouldn't be done. Bristol County DA Thomas Quinn is among at least six DAs opposed to the proposal. I'm concerned about victims, their well-being, their safety. He and others have been working on a case by case basis to release inmates to free up space in the jails, but worry what mass release could mean for the general public. Not being unsympathetic, I can concern about the inmates' well being, but that doesn't mean wholesale release. Suffolk County DA Rachel Rollins agrees with the proposal. In a filing, Rollins said she agrees that decarceration in certain instances is the just, humane, and right thing to do. Supporters of the proposal describe jails as petri dishes where infectious diseases spread and believe life on the outside is safer for inmates and the public. It's possible and, in fact, necessary for us to be both safe and free. And all sides will be heard in a telephone conference with the Supreme Judicial Court Tuesday morning at 10 o'clock. In Concord, Christina Rex, WBZ News.